Hello again and welcome to another Not Cuts video. Um, today we're going to do some of our classic scone recipes. Uh, specifically I'm going to do cheese scones today. We've also got some sultana scones cooking in the oven. Uh, we sell over a half a million scones per year with Not Cuts and this is one of our classic recipes. So let's get into it. Starting, this is a half batch. So we're starting with 500 grams of self-raising flour that I've actually sieved. Into that we're going to add 15 grams of baking powder, straight in. A pinch of salt, decent pinch of salt in there. And 125 grams of a, a butter substitute, sort of like a cooking butter, so cut into cubes. In our business, we use something called Meadowland. This is, uh, this is Willow, which you can buy in all supermarkets. So the butter goes in like that. We then just drop this down. Um, you can obviously rub this in with your hands, just as easy, and sometimes people would say that that's actually better. But uh, we're just going to slowly uh, tick that over. Um, once this is combined, and what I want is sort of rough bread crumbs, once we get to that level, we're going to add our cheese, and then we're going to add um, some other ingredients as well, which is mustard and cayenne pepper. We're almost there with that. So, I'll just knock that off and we'll add our cheese. And obviously this will mix through a little bit more. So that's 150 grams of good quality grated cheese. Now the better quality the cheese, obviously the better quality the end product is going to be. To add some flavor in, we go one teaspoon of English mustard and we go a decent pinch of cayenne pepper. This just brings out the whole flavor of the product. So going back in, now we give it a decent mix to, to get that butter and that cheese really mixed well through. Um, if we were making the scone recipe, the difference with this, with this would be, obviously we'd omit the mustard, the cayenne and the cheese, and instead we'd add 100 grams of sultanas and 100 grams of castor sugar and they would go in before we add the butter. So they would go in, when we added the salt, that's when those ingredients would go in. So apart from that, it's exactly the same recipe. The baking powder and the flour goes in. Right, we're getting to ourselves to a stage now where that is looking good. So we're gonna now add in a quarter of a litre of milk. So a quarter of a litre of milk going in. slowly pouring that in. What we, what we want to do is just test it to make sure it's like a sticky dough when it comes through. We don't want to overwork it because that gets the gluten too active. Right, it's getting to a stage now where it's working through as you can see. So we can hang that so you can see. Oh, it's really sort of working quite hard. As soon as I get all that milk combined, I'm going to turn it off and just finish it with my hands. Right, I don't think I've got any all of that milk. So I'm going to leave the rest of the milk there. Right, I think I've got myself. That's, that's a nice sticky dough. So what we want is we want it to come off the, the blade, but it still needs to be sort of quite tacky. Um, that's ideally exactly what we want. So we're going to move this over to the top now, and we're going to finish this off uh, on the top. So let's, uh, let's move that over. Right, what I've got over here is some flour ready. So just add some flour to the top. And then turn our cheese on and mix out. Now, ideally what we want with this is we we want it to be sort of that sort of consistency really. So a little bit tacky. I also want to keep it quite Thick because the idea of getting these scones exactly where we want them is you could use a rolling pin at this stage I, I tend to think that using your hands is probably the best way of guiding the, the width of it so 
Okay, using our scone cutter, and I'm using a small scone cutter. What we use in our business is a seven and a half centimeter cutter. So we get those really big scones. What we want here for just at home, just a small cutter. This is a six centimeter cutter and I'm dipping them into the flour every time. And then we'll just drop them onto a lightly oiled and floured tray. This, this batch, which is sort of half a batch, will give you somewhere between six and eight scones. Hopefully we'll get eight scones out of this. Again, you can really mix the dough. One of the, one of the key things I'm doing is I'm getting that mixture to the top of that cutter, as you can see. So we'll rework that again, just to get to the level where we want it to be. There we go. What I might do today is just do do eight, and get a little bit more out of that potentially because the cutter is small. If you were using the larger cutter, you'd probably only get six, but I'm not gonna get eight today. One more out of this, quickly. I'll just leave the extra. What you could do is you could also make some smaller versions with a smaller cutter and use those for things like canapes or afternoon tea or things like that. Right, so that's the mix. I'm gonna just drop that in there and just wash my hands. So just two seconds to do that. And then we will egg wash. Now what we're going to do with the egg wash is we're going to just use a whole egg and go all the way over the scone just to, um, just to clean that up. So, so egg wash is here. What we're doing is going all the way around the eggs the egg wash, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit on the tray because that will help to make it lift. Now we can put a little bit of water on the tray as well which sort of helps them to rise. What we will do is we will pop these in the oven at 160 to 170 for 10 to 15 minutes and we will come back when they are cooked so we can have a look at them. Um, see what we think so obviously these aren't our biggest seller so sultanas are but they still sell very very well for us they're one of our best selling lines in the the restaurant altogether so go around again okay and into the oven we go well, what we will do first of all is we move our sultana scones up and drop our cheese scones into the middle of the oven. So that's our cheese scones gone into the oven. We'll wait about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll back to see you in a moment. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're now 10, 15 minutes down the line in our hot oven, 170, 180. What I did halfway through, just to uh, make a couple of the Cheese scone, super indulgent, is use pesto, so the back of a spoon, just pinch your pesto, back of a spoon, on the top of the scone, drops a little bit of cheddar on top, and uh, you'll see when they come out, that just gives another option um, for your scones. But so, um, here we go. So, there they are, beautifully browned. And they are about the right size for a home. Um, what I'll do is I'll drop, um, I'll drop some of the, scones that have got the mixture on the top. This is what you'd be looking for with your sultana scones as well. So lovely got that lovely rough and even peel. Then there you go, they're the they're the cheese and the cheese and pesto scones. So you can see the pesto on the on the base. Probably even three quarters of the way cut through so you don't lose the um you don't lose the colouring on the top. So there we go guys that's the uh, the cooking video for today. That's our best-selling cheese scones and I've done a couple with cheese and pesto. Thanks very much. Um, next time when you join us, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, cooking with uh, with chicken. I'm going to do you a couple of tasty uh, dinner party style dishes, uh, chipotle chicken dish with uh, with spices 
and also a little trick on how to uh, fill some chicken breasts and make a tomato sauce to a really nice Italian dish. Thank you very much, see you again soon.